Hey YouTube, what is up? Today I'm going to talk to you about why your wireless uh, adapter isn't working in your Raspberry Pi, okay? Um, there's a, a few causes, okay? And the most likely one is that the adapter you bought isn't compatible with Raspberry Pi. Now you can write code, like you can, you can make drivers for it, but that's pretty hard. And typically, you can get do much, one for much easier and cheaper. Okay, so I got this one. This is the um, D-Link uh, N300 USB adapter for about forty bucks. Thinking, okay, it's great. It's it's the best one out there. But you know what? It doesn't work with Linux. It's only compatible with Windows. Now it is great. I did try it on my laptop. It's awesome. But you can go and you can get one of these TP links. These things are about half the price and they work right out of the box. Now, for 98% of all wireless adapters, you're going to need a powered USB hub. The reason is, is that these wireless dongles they draw way too much power and the Raspberry Pi can't handle that so it'll work for maybe 30 seconds you'll see um, you'll see that you're getting Wi-Fi but after that it'll drop and especially if you're using a mouse you're gonna notice that the mouse freezes so the TP-Link TLWN321G works great, have had no problems. And I went out and got myself a uh, powered USB hub. This was pretty cheap, it was 20 bucks and works great. So I can plug other stuff into Raspberry Pi as well. It's got one, two, three, four USB hubs. And one of them's powered. That's when I stick the wireless dongle in. And I guarantee you that most of the time, uh, your wireless dongle is not compatible with Linux. Now you can, you can, if you know Linux well, you can get the driver. But I recommend just going the cheap way. And either way, you're still going to need a powered USB hub. Um, I hope this solves your wireless problems with Raspberry Pi. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked, please subscribe and like the video. Uh, thank you.